I've looked now from Highway 26 at Government Camp. Check this out. Snow covered roads out there, of course, and the clock is ticking to get prepared down here in the valley ahead of this incoming winter weather. John Adams has more on what people who plan to stay in and those who have to head out need to know. John. Yeah, I spoke with shoppers today on how they are stocking up ahead of this winter storm. We also spoke with TriMet on how they're preparing to deal with the arrival of these winter conditions. Area shoppers brought their lists of necessities to local grocery stores today, grabbing the essentials before the snow and ice arrives. But if anybody was listening to Matt Zafino last night, then you know that there's a good chance we might get some nasty weather. And that warning is what brought Dale Davidson to the Fred Meyer in Raleigh Hills to stock up on what her family needs to ride out the storm. Yeah, I plan like three or four meals and try to get everything I need for those items in case I don't want to go out. I'm kind of afraid to drive in the snow or the ice, so if I have to stay home, I'll be ready. A representative from Fred Meyer told us they've seen an increase in people both in store and ordering online. District manager Julie Offlick explained some of the items the store recommends shoppers have on hand at home and in their vehicles during winter weather. The bottled water is always great. I mean, pipes can freeze, right? Um, when you're stocking your car, pick up blankets, pick up granola bars. Um, these are some of the faves at my house. Of course, the kiddo likes their goldfish crackers, and they've got their energy bars too. So um, just some of those shelf-stable things with high protein as well. For people that have to go out during the storm, TriMet recommends people use their services to keep as many cars off the road as possible. We always encourage people to use TriMet. We have professional drivers. They're trained to drive in the snow and ice. They say their preparation starts months before the chance of winter weather arrives. We take stock of our winter weather equipment every fall. And this year we have more de-icer than we've had in years past. We have more max trains that have ice cutters that we run overnight in the event that, uh, that we get freezing rain. While TriMet attempts to keep as many routes running as possible, they encourage riders to visit TriMet.org slash alerts for the latest updates if there are delays. Well, and for folks that are having to drive their own vehicle out on the roadways during this storm and in the immediate aftermath, we did talk to ODOT today. They said they are going to be using salt in certain areas to protect against that threat of ice. Brittany and